Hello, hello, my name is Marsha Nuts and welcome to another Not With Me video. If this is your first time watching a Not With Me video, this is just a video in which I'm making a bracelet and then I sped it up so you can watch the entire thing from start to finish. So the entire creation of the bracelet. And then I also do a voiceover once I finish the bracelet and just chat with you guys about whatever I feel like chatting with you. And uh, usually I use these as like kind of life updates and just a bit of chit chat. Today I'm making this beautiful alpha and it's um, kind of like a lot of different plants in pots. So like a bunch of potted plants in a row. I'm actually looking at it. Um, I'm holding it as I'm recording the voiceover and it's still, I, I love it so much. I finished this a few days ago, but I can't get over how much I like it. I've been wanting to make this bracelet for a while, this pattern for a while. I have a thing for potted plants, um, specifically in bracelet patterns. You might remember a while ago, I think I did another Not With Me video, which I'll link in the card in the description if you wanna watch it, that um, was a similar pattern to this. It was like a bunch of different cactuses, a bunch of different cacti, I don't know what the plural of that is, in pots. And that to this day is probably like one of my favorite bracelets I've ever made. So this is kind of a similar vibe. When I saw it, I was like, I have to create this as well. So I'm glad I did. I must say though, this was a very difficult bracelet to create. Like you can already see just with this first flower here, how many strings there are. And people ask me quite a bit, it's like, what kind of bracelets do you find difficult to make? Is it bracelets that are very wide? Is it bracelets that have a lot of different strings? And that question goes for both alphas and normal bracelets for me a lot of the time. And I struggle to answer that because Realistically, it doesn't really matter that much uh, to me at this point. Like I'm, I'm fairly comfortable with everything. And so even really big normal patterns where there's a bunch of different strings, unless it's like a one, two, one, two pattern where, which is basically ones that are made pretty much exclusively of forward, backward, or backward, forward knots, which I avoid anyway. But unless it's something like that, it's not difficult to create because a lot of the time you can find ways to segment knot it really easily and really quickly. And it's just an enjoyable, fun process. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's a lot, but it's not difficult. It's just more, you have to make more knots. You have to create more, but it's not difficult necessarily. But with alphas, the more strings you have, the more difficult it is, I find. And I mean, it's relatively obvious, but <laughs> it's somehow, I, I don't, I don't know my point. I don't know what my point is. My point is I never really thought about it much because I don't tend to make alphas with that many colors. Question mark. I'm trying to think back now um, if that's actually true, but I, I don't know. I, I haven't made an alpha with a lot of colors in a while. And when I was making this, I realized how difficult it actually is because each individual color, you have to make sure that it's actually going in the correct place and that the strings behind aren't intertwining, which they are. And it kind of creates a bit of a bumpiness to the bracelet. Um, a little bit at the end when I finish the bracelet, I'll show you the back as well and you can see how many sort of color changes and different strings are overlapping at the back. Um, and there's probably ways that I could have um, avoided that a little bit, at least slightly, like here, for example, that background color that you see the sort of like salmon color, I guess. You, you see a lot of it on the right and you see a lot of it on the left. I could have easily used two separate strings for that, um, but I decided not to, I don't know why, to be honest, but, um, so yeah, there's a lot of kind of dragging of the strings from left to right, but I really enjoy making this regardless. I was listening to an audiobook. What was I listening to? I was listening to Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid the entire time I was making this uh, bracelet. I think I pretty much, no, I was gonna say I started and finished it listening to that, which is true, but I, I listened to the audiobook before I started this bracelet. So the audiobook is longer than it took. I think this bracelet took me something like five and a half hours, I believe the footage was. Uh, the audiobook is much longer than that, but the entire time I was making this bracelet, I was listening to that audiobook and it was a really uh, fun and enjoyable time. I find that quite interesting. Like a lot of the time when I look back on bracelets that I've made, I can remember what media I was consuming at the time because I always consume some kind of media when I am making a bracelet. It's either um, I'm listening to an audiobook or I'm watching a TV show or I'm, I'm doing something else. Or maybe like I'm talking to a family member or something on the phone. I'm always doing something else. And a lot of the time I can look back and sort of remember like, oh, when I was doing this, I was uh, listening to this audiobook or watching this TV show. Um, anyway, I, I quite enjoyed that all of the flowers were different um, in some capacity. Uh, obviously this one that I'm making now is very similar to the first one, but it's still different enough because there's two of them <laughs> in the pot. Um, but 
other than that, every single flower is different and unique and there's different colors that go into it and it creates such a beautiful design overall. I, I really enjoyed it. There's one kind of repeating element, which is the flower pots. The flower pots um, alternate between sort of blue and brown. And I thought that was really cool as well. It took me, oh, cause my camera slanted here. I didn't even notice. Uh, it took me such a while to uh, pick out the colors for this bracelet. I think, I think yeah, you can see it in, um, my most recent vlog. I started this bracelet in my most recent vlog and I was picking out the colors. It took me a while to do that because I was trying to match the colors that were in the pattern itself. Sometimes I decide to go for something completely different and I decide that I'm gonna, you know, choose my own colors, trying to figure out what I wanna do. A lot of the time I do that with normal patterns. With alphas, I sometimes, I think more often than not with alphas, I decide to just go with the color that's already there. But both scenarios are actually quite difficult. Obviously when you are deciding to create your own colors and you are trying to think of what color combinations go well together and all of that, it's a very creative process and it takes a while to figure out what colors you think you want to use. Um, because there's, you know, there's just so many options. There's so many different things that you could do. Um, but even when you're trying to match colors that already exist, it's also really challenging because the colors you see aren't necessarily ones that you may have. Um, and even in my case, like I have a really extensive collection of strings because obviously I, I do this a lot and this is a big hobby of mine. I have a lot of strings, even with a lot of strings, a lot of the time I can't quite pick out the exact color that I want and I have to choose something slightly different which then kind of changes other colors that I might want to use because now they don't match anymore with like the undertone of it or something. It, it takes a while and I just think it's a, uh, it's a cool process regardless. So yeah, I have that in, in my most recent vlog if you want to see that. I have been making a lot more bracelets recently than I have been in a while. Um, I'm recording this on a weekend, I'm recording this on a Sunday, and I have made, I have started something like six bracelets this weekend, and I have made three, <laughs> which is crazy, and that's like more than I made in the last month, I think. Um, so I'm, I'm having a pretty good time bracelet-wise right now, I'm really inspired, I'm, I've been making quite a bit. I filmed, so over this weekend, um, obviously I filmed this time-lapse bit throughout the week. Um, I was, a lot of the time I was like filming on my lunch break um, because I work from home now, or I was filming uh, afterwards, uh, after work. Um, so yeah, this was filmed throughout the week. So now I'm kind of recording the voice voiceover for that. But then over this weekend, I also filmed two other Not With Me's for some really small bracelets. Um, and I started filming two tutorials. And by I started filming, I mean, I filmed the tutorial portion. I just need to like finish the bracelet now and film the intro and the outro. So I've filmed like four videos in this weekend, which is crazy, but um, I'm enjoying myself so much. I feel like it's a lot of the time it's for me, it's like summer vibes. Uh, I don't know what it is, but like making bracelets is such a summer thing. I really enjoy making bracelets in like autumn and winter. There's a lot of seasonal bracelets that I create that um, that I really enjoy making, like a lot of, you know, maybe like fallen leaves bracelets with like alphas or just kind of autumnal colors I feel like go really well in bracelets and you can create really beautiful designs that way. Um, and then obviously like Christmas time, you can create tons of bracelets around that and just a lot of winter ones with snowflakes and stuff. But I, I guess it's just, you know, the sun brings out the energy <laughs> in me, brings out um, just inspiration to create. So, I feel a lot more inspired during summertime. Um, let me know if you can relate to that. I'm, I'm curious because I do actually notice that there is a bit of an uptick in views in terms of uh, my bracelet videos in the summertime. And I'm wondering if that's just because other people feel like that or if it's just, you know, that uh, bracelets are kind of like a summer activity for a lot of people. That's what they kind of associate it with. I'm curious. So, you know, if you could let me know, that would be cool. I have my own ideas on that, but it, it would be nice to know as well. Um, but yeah, uh, and I've also started getting my nails done, um, and <laughs> because of that, I started getting my nails done, right? Um, and I go every like three and a half to four weeks-ish, and so my nails grow out quite a while before my next appointment, and sometimes I decide to cut them back to the length that they were, sometimes I decide to leave them, but point is, in, on average, my nails are now much longer than they used to be ever before. And it is a learning curve, let me tell you that. It is a learning curve uh, to sort of live with longer nails. And they're not even that long. Like a lot of the time I see 
uh, women on Instagram or something. Or just, you know, people sharing their nails uh, online in any capacity. Um, and I see these like really, really long acrylics uh, and I think, wow, like that looks really cool, but I have no idea how to function with that. So my nails aren't even that long, but they're very long for me. Like I don't typically have long nails and I'm having to relearn how to do things. And I find that really fun. And it's even with relation to bracelet making, I now make my knots slightly differently. Um, like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like if you've had long nails ever in any capacity in your life, you will understand what I'm saying. But um, yeah, making making bracelets with long nails is a challenge for me now. And I'm, I'm trying to learn how to do that. I feel like I figured it out, but it's been affecting like weird aspects of my life. Like I have to now use my knuckles to like open my microwave, for example. I used to just like press the button, but now I have to like put my push my knuckle into it. And I think that's kind of funny. And yeah, it's like affecting my handwriting and everything. And uh, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's just funny. But yeah, uh, I filmed a ton of videos this week, uh, this weekend actually. So it was just these past two days. Usually I do stuff on the weekend, but this weekend I didn't have anything to do. I met a couple of friends throughout the week. Um, I hung out with a couple of friends throughout the week and I had plans for uh, the weekend, but they got canceled. So I was like, this weekend I'm just filming videos and making bracelets. Um, but yeah, I filmed a bunch of videos with my hands. I feel like I need to film a few videos with my face now. So I'm thinking of like some kind of challenge or some kind of talking video that I could do because I feel like I want to speak with you guys face to face. I miss seeing you, <laughs> if that makes sense. If you've got any ideas, uh, feel free to leave those in the comments as well. But this is how the bracelet turned out. I think it turned out really cool. I love it. I'm telling you, flowers in pots is like a new thing for me. Well, I say new, it's been a thing for me for a while. I I really, really enjoy the look of them. I think this turned out amazing. They were so happy with it. It really does remind me of that bracelet that I did with the cactuses, which I think is another knot with me. I'm trying to look back on it. I'm fairly confident it is, which will be linked in, in the case if it is. Uh, but yeah, this is what the back looks like. And uh, as you can see, there's quite a few color changes there and quite a few strings dragging along. I think I could have done it a little bit better if I had thought it through. There's some cases of dragging strings that really shouldn't have been there, but you know, it is what it is. But in any case, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna make this bracelet as well, then the link to the pattern is in the description as always. And I also have a playlist with a bunch of different Not With Me's. So videos just like this one where I'm making a bracelet in a time lapse and just talking to you guys. I'll leave that playlist linked in the description as well. Before I go, I wanna give a special shout out to my patrons and my top supporters. Thank you so, so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. If you also wanna become a patron and support the work that I do on this channel, the link to that is in the description. But in any case, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.